Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have a rather special event taking place. It's me out camping and Victoria's here. Hey everyone. So that's pretty cool. And we've got this massive tent from King Camp to set up, which is gonna be rather special. And it's gonna be good to set it up with some kind of calm conditions, not in a storm. But it's a beautiful day, we're in a beautiful spot. It's a little bit windy. But we'll get this tent set up, get it all cozy inside. We've got some nice beverages and some tasty meals for dinner. And then we'll come back to you guys later on. Check this out, man. This is the most luxurious, biggest and cool setup I think I've ever had on a camp. To be out here, it's got like windows, massive bed, so much space. I could stand up and run around in this thing. It's incredible. We've even got a couch. <laughs> Okay, finally, everything is established. It's gotten a bit cold, Victoria's got a rain jacket on. But I'm not, I might put my big puffer on, but I don't really need it yet. Even though it's kind of getting a bit stormy looking up towards the mountains. But we got beverages, I've had them in the stream. These are some pretty special, pretty special beers. Got a hazy IPA and an IPA. So I have this, Victoria's got, what do you got? I've got some kombucha. Uh, Yummy. <laughs> they are nice. One's raspberry and lemon, and one's ginger and turmeric. The sand flies have all of a sudden just gone insane. We've got the um, the thermocell device. So, is it going? Yeah. Okay, that's going, but it is a bit windy, so I'm not sure how effective it's going to be. But we'll have these beer. You can have your kombucha. And that's... Yeah. Fair o'clock. <laughs> so manly. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers everyone. Thanks for coming on this um, camp. It's a bit different than our usual videos, but I know some of you like to see these big crazy setups and it's kind of fun for a change, especially with my back being sore. It's nice to relax a bit. This is my favourite brewer, Ubernaut. They're based in Auckland and New Zealand, I think. Yeah, it's not like a real citrusy, hazy like you get that are quite bitter. This one's like a more tropical mangoey one. Very, very nice. Gonna put the big puffer on. It's actually kind of chilly, especially when I'm drinking cold beer. <laughs> I haven't had this thing out in a while, so it's gonna be cool. 
big green. I'd just like to take a moment on the couch with another beer to thank today's video sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online service that connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you unbiased and helpful advice. The best part is you can talk to them from anywhere via call, video chat, or even just messaging, whatever you're most comfortable with. I love getting out of nature a lot, obviously. It helps me clear my head, especially in horrendous conditions. Not like today, but my usual videos where I have no time to worry or stress because I'm just trying to survive. I'm sure many of you can relate to that. That's why you watch these videos, to escape the pressure of life and just all the stress associated with being a human in today's modern age. The last few years, they've been pretty crazy for us, both personally and business related. I'm sure many of you feel this way as well. What has really helped me though, is being able to talk to friends and family and get out here and share my experience with you guys. But if you're struggling with your mental health and you need someone to support you, a therapist is always a great option. I know Victoria has used a couple of therapists over the years, and I know that she has found them super helpful. She's also shared with me a few of the tips that she has learnt, and they've really helped me get through some tough times. If you're in need of some help, I recommend that you guys check out BetterHelp. First go to their site, and you can use my link which I'll pop into the description of this video. You answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist with years of experience who is a professional with helping people with struggles just like yours. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you from your tent or caravan, or from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash Abel and Victoria, or choose Abel and Victoria during sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. So. Check out better help. I'm gonna enjoy this beer and then we're gonna cook some hot dogs. Hey, it's dark out here. Yeah, there's a little bit of water hitting my jacket. It's quite dark and quite cold. I should probably actually close up the, the I think it's time, yeah, we'll zip, we'll zip the tent up. Go do that now. And we'll think about dinner. <laughs> Hey, shelter. All right, everybody, it's dinner time and we're doing artisanal hot dogs with pickles, American mustard and ketchup. I wanted Victoria to be able to share in the experience that I had a couple of videos back of the hot dogs. Although it's not storming, and we probably won't spill them all over ourselves like I did in that video, they'll still be delicious. So we get these on and sizzling away, and we'll construct the ultimate hot dogs. They're gonna be a little close up. They're coming out of the tent. Ooh. These things, New Zealand product, super premium. And they smell so good. Little wiener dogs. <laughs> <laughs> In America, these are just hot dogs, but outside of America, I think a lot of people call these American hot dogs. <laughs> you know, that, at least that's what we called them when we were a kid growing up. Or Frank Furness. Yeah. So, we're in New Zealand, so everything's a little bit different for us, you know. <laughs> these hot dogs look like they are just about done. Yes, the sausage fest is complete. <laughs> and it's time to plate up these plump little meat sticks. <laughs> Right. <laughs> hey, this is the usual dialogue that I have on a camp. I know you haven't been in a while, but I'm a bit silly, you know. Especially after a few delicious beers. <laughs> but anyway, there's six hot dogs. We've got six buns. 
Actually, I'll turn that off. And we got heaps of pickles. Do you have two for a start? Yeah, I'll have two for a start. <laughs> you know what's going to happen, guys. He's going to have five, and I'm probably going to have one. I'm going to eat them all. Why wouldn't I? Like I said, I'm a big boy and I need to eat. So you just place that sausage in between the two slits either side. You get like a nice... You gotta insert it deep. And then you get another one. Oh, it's very hot. Oh! Get it in there. <laughs> oh. Can you please put the sausage on? What was that? <laughs> she wants a sausage in her bun. Okay, spread the <laughs> spread them juice. Sorry, spread the. I, I can't even say it. <laughs> Can you please put a sausage in my bun? <laughs> Just like that. There you go. Thank you. All right. Oh god. And do you really want to even out the the dryness of the bun with extra pickle. So. <laughs> We'll get a whole lot of pickles down each side of the sausage. <laughs> then you just lather it up with the sauce. <laughs> oh my goodness. Smash the thumbs up, guys, for hot dogs. Like and subscribe. This is what you get <laughs> from this channel. Yeah, it is what it is. It's just real life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get the bun ready. You've seen it a little close up, so I'm not going to get up. My back is still pretty sore from that last camp, and thank you to everyone who gave me advice on how to fix it and just wished me well for recovery. It's been about seven or eight days since the camp and I am feeling a lot better but it's still stiff and sore so the car camp's really helping to like you know alleviate a bit of the stress on it but we're gonna eat these how are they they are delicious if I could hand one through the camera to you guys so you could taste it I would hand my sausage through the camera <laughs> Intercontinental space sausage. <laughs> They're really, really nice. <laughs> it's the extra pickle. <laughs> All jokes aside, though, this is a lovely spot and this is a very nice tent. Mm. Mm. The tent. It's high quality and I mean setting it up took a bit of time but I think most people if they were using it they would be setting it up for several days taking their family out and going on a prolonged camping trip but once it's up there's so much space the build quality is very high the stitching the materials I think it's like a treated canvas the water just beads off it and everything's just cut real symmetrical and I like the design, there's lots of, there's heaps of venting options, I'll show you all close ups later when we go to bed, but you've got these little windows and there's vents at the top, you can even put a hot stove through the roof and have a little fireplace inside the tent. Oh that'll be perfect in winter. Yeah, I think we'll do that in winter. In the snow or something, it'll be and, great. Yeah, I kind of want to test this in a storm too, so maybe in a couple months I'll take this up to the very mountain tops where I can drive and set it up. <laughs> It's raining a little bit. I think it's coming in. I'm having my last two hot dogs. Four <laughs> hot dogs. Oh well, it's a treat. It's always a treat to be out on camp. This product, I picked it up at the supermarket. I think it's American. You guys probably know. Let me know in the comments. French's mustard. It's delicious stuff. I'm liking on this tent. There's these little windows, which are just plastic, so I can see all the little raindrops starting to hit it. Yeah, it is cool. 
a, rain dribbling down. A tent with windows mm. and mountain views. Alright everyone, that was dinner. Just been chilling out outside the tent. Victoria's on the sofa in the giant palace just reading some of the book. She's reading June. We recently went to watch the movie in the cinema and it's an absolutely epic movie. Um, if you're into sci-fi or even if you're not into sci-fi, I think it's worth watching. It's just an artistic masterpiece. So check it out based on my recommendation if you want. It's, a, it's just an experience, you know. June. Great story. Anyway, it's kind of like spitting outside. It's very, very cozy in here. Gentle rain. But I think I'm just going to chill, have a hot chocolate soon, and just enjoy being out in this giant tent. forward to uh getting into our bed it's kind of weird like I kind of feel like I'm in a house it's like I'm getting into an actual bed <laughs> and you guys are watching it <laughs> it's not like when I'm up in a little tent in the wilderness and it's like a storm that seems more normal to me to film than this <laughs> for some reason but it just is what it is Ooh, that's good you haven't had a jar of dark in a while have you haven't very excited these are a little camping treat, little hot chocolates. Ah, they're quite nice. It's a bit chilly in here. Do well, so you want like a heater or something? Yeah, if we, <laughs> <laughs> we need a can of heater. Maybe, what else could we have? Well, we could have a little fireplace. What other gadgets would you guys recommend? Some of you are probably pro campers. What would be good? My back hurts. I think it's time to go to sleep. I've gotten into my bed sock. Look at this thing, it's pretty cool. It's got like a nice plaid pattern on it. And it's like a, I think it's like a microfiber, kind of fleecy inside. With this nice kind of soft, I think it feels like a polyester type outer with synthetic insulation. But it's like, it's a sleeping bag, but it's extremely wide and spacious. So it feels more like I'm in like a king single bed or something. It's pretty cozy. Pretty nice, got my big pillow from home too, so it's like the ultimate luxury set up here. But I think that's enough from us. Uh, there might be some heavy rain overnight, and if there is, I'll probably turn the camera on and film it, because I'll be rather excited. <laughs> but other than that, we'll see you in the morning, and uh, we'll have heaps of coffee and get the toaster out. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Good night, everyone. Good night, guys.
good morning everybody. I'm just having a coffee on my sofa within my giant palace tent. It was quite a rainy wet night. The tent's completely saturated, everything outside's wet and it's just a misty beautiful still morning. There's so many birds here, you just hear them calling. But I'll tell you what, I had an amazing sleep. The best sleep I've ever had out in the wilderness. This sleep system, King Cam, it's just phenomenal, it just works. I'll give you guys a bit more of a rundown on it later, but I'm just going to enjoy this coffee, sit on my sofa, just enjoy being in this giant tent. Got to get the thermocell guy. The sand flies, they're coming in fast. I'm not sure if you can see them on the camera, but this thing within a couple, I don't know, five minutes should get them all gone. Hopefully. Look at this place. <laughs> this is amazing. This jacket as well, so warm. I'm like sitting here in a sleeping bag. All right guys, it's breakfast time. We've got scrambled eggs and toast and it's gonna be really really delicious so i'm gonna get on with scrambling these yeah i brought my toaster from home uh and i got my battery so i think i'll get some toast in there <laughs> this would be pretty funny it's heating up Yeah, that smells nice. And I got my little Primus salt grinder thing. It's like the shotgun salt machine. And there you go, toast done. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's really good. This is normally what I have at home, but I don't have bread. I usually have five eggs for breakfast and an avocado at about lunchtime, actually. Food just tastes better when you're out here, I reckon. Yeah, there's something special about having it out in the wilderness. The great outdoors. So yeah, that was the the camp, the massive tent. I'm definitely going to take this tent out in the winter when it's snowing, freezing cold, freezing rain, ice and snow, and get the little fire going inside it, I think. Maybe do a two night camp, as high up in the mountains as I can go. I think it would be awesome, make it super cozy inside and just chill out in there. It'll be like car camp hot tenting. As you can see, it's all done on tension, so it takes a bit of time to like get it all set up and pegged out, but once it's up, it's solid as. And there's so much space in it. It's probably like two and a half metres high. I think now that we're a bit more used to it as well, it'll be way easier the next time. Yeah. 
Mm. Mm. Yum. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But a great first outing in this tent, huh? Right? So this is the bed. There's these socks, which we talked about before, and this big air mat, which sits on this base, which you can see has little like elastic bits on the corners. But the cool thing about it is these two bases, they have slats. So it's like you're on the supported bed and it makes it extremely comfortable. And I've, I've got like a single mattress, mattress, which I can take on this thing too and just take one of them. So it's like a pretty ultimate setup. And it's awesome for two people because it just seems to balance out, whereas some air mats, you're yeah. kind of bouncing all over the place when there's two people, whereas this seems to just be super supportive. To support the oak base or whatever it's called. And these things, they're just, they're just good, man. <laughs> all the stuff. It's They've pretty got cool like setup. sheets on the inside almost. Yeah. Sheets. <laughs> but I think we're going to pack the tent up now, get the stuff in the car, and head out. It's been pretty awesome camp. Really like this tent. Really looking forward to testing it out in some more rough conditions. Oh, oh, that feels good on my back. Big all right we're all packed up we're going to head out driving off road and filming at the same time <laughs> that tent it wasn't too bad to pack up i think we just got to uh, fold it a bit better actually before we try to stuff it in the bag but all in all it's a pretty fun camp and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did subscribe to the channel and smash the thumbs up but I think we're just going to head on out it's a pretty big hole here hopefully they don't drop the camera whoa but it was sliding anyway Victoria that was awesome Ooh. glad you guys could come along <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you again soon yeah see you next time guys